Welcome to this week's edition of the Oaks Countdown with the Philly Classic at Churchill Downs now less than 10 weeks away. I'm Nicole Russo in Lexington, Kentucky, joined by Dan Illman in our New York studio to bring you all the latest updates. We'll start by taking a look at the current points leaderboard toward a spot in the starting gate for the Oaks, which is limited to 14 starters. You'll see a few new names on the list, courtesy of the UAE Oaks at Maidan last week, with down on Debayu earning 50 points with her victory. Now, she's considered unlikely for the Oaks. She's more likely to wheel right back and face males in the Saudi Derby this weekend. So her status and long-term plans should become clear very quickly. The other big change to the leaderboard, in addition to those Phillies, is the removal of multiple grade one winner Bast, who has been retired with a soft tissue injury. Dad, what do you think that means for the rest of the California three-year-old Philly division? I think the Philly division is very strong out in Southern California. There are two big names, Donna Velosi, obviously the runner-up in the Breeders' Cup Juvenile Phillies, in only her second lifetime start. She's going to be returning to the races very soon in the Santa Isabel. But it looks like Venetian Harbor is the now horse in this division. She's won her last two starts by a combined 20 and a quarter lengths with buyer speed figures of 94 and 92 respectively. She is very fast out of the gate. We'll see how far she wants to go. She hasn't gone past a two-turn mile yet, but it looks like those are the two big names right now. And as for Bast, it's a shame that she's retired because she showed a lot of ability. But last week here on Oaks Countdown, we mentioned we hadn't seen her in a while on the world tab and that's always a red flag this time of year yeah and you know you mentioned venetian harbor and i'll admit that i had uh some skepticism about her ability to even get that mile she passed that test with flying colors and i'm excited to see what she does moving forward and as we look ahead to the upcoming points races, you'll see the other California Phillies get a chance to step up soon. The Santa Isabel, one of several races around the country on that immediate horizon, offering increased point values as things begin to heat up. Our attention this weekend, however, is on Florida and the grade two Devona Dale, the favorite expected to be totalist shape, who is unbeaten in four career starts, she cut back to seven furlongs last time out to win the forward gale, but she is a winner at up to a mile, Dan. Now she's a very talented filly, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned she's unbeaten, that's true. She's also pretty much untested. You can argue that the filly that finishes third in the forward gal, Nikki and Papa, first time starter, if you can believe it, actually ran just as well as the winner considering she missed the break completely and was playing catch up at the start. She will likely rematch with tonalist shape in the uh, Devona Dale. Tonalist shape unbeaten, but also untested. She is going to get a test in the Devona Dale. It looks like Lake Avenue, that beautifully bred Godolphin daughter of Tappet. She's going to make her seasonal debut. She won the Demoiselle last year. Uh, Spice is nice for Todd Pletcher, a very impressive maiden winner with a big figure is going to run in that race. Maydeen, who I believe was the runner up in the Demoiselle going against the bias that day, she'll be there. So tonalist shape, we're going to find out a lot about her in this race from a class perspective. Remember, that forward gal, while very visually impressive, only came back with a 70 buyer speed figure. Yeah, and you know, you mentioned Lake Avenue, who's by Tappet. I think she'll run as far as they want her to go. Tappet, of course, the sire of three Belmont Stakes winners, and one of those is Tonalist, the sire, of course, of Tonalist shape. Uh, this his first crop. He was a grade one winner going a mile in the Cigar Mile, but he thrived at longer distances in addition to his Belmont win, won the Jockey Club Gold Cup twice. He's just a big, tall, rangy horse. I saw a lot of that from his first progeny last year. I really expect them to continue to develop with anything they've done so far kind of being a bonus. And with that in mind, yes, Tonalist Shape is untested, as you mentioned. I'm not quite sure how good the Phillies she beat last time out were she's definitely taking a step up but i do think that you know there's more in the tank for her from a pedigree standpoint well, I agree with you. I think this is the time of year where we're going to see the first crop of tonalist babies start to thrive. At two last year, we didn't expect them to be very precocious. They probably didn't ride a lot of races to suit uh, distance-wise early in the summer for the tonalists, but now we're starting to see them. They're getting a chance to stretch their legs. They're getting a chance to grow into those bodies. 
physically and emotionally. And we're seeing horses like Tonalist Shape show the ability to stretch out to a mile. So I wouldn't be surprised if this horse continues to improve with distance. Uh, we'll just find out a lot about from a class perspective. It's going to be a big weekend, especially for the South Florida contingent to sort themselves out. I think we're pretty much set at the fairgrounds. Finite, the leader of the division, the leader of the fairground set with British Idiom, the champion two-year-old filly of last year, not far behind. And I'm also eagerly anticipating the seasonal debut of Frisette winner Wicked Whisper, who is working regularly for trainer Steve Asmussen. We mentioned the two fillies out in Southern California. I think we're pretty much set there with Venetian Harbor and Donna Velosi. This is a big, big weekend for the Phillies in South Florida sort themselves out. We'll see if Tonal's shape is as good as advertised. Definitely. And I think, as you said, some Phillies have already put their best foot forward or shown themselves well in other divisions. I do think we're looking for British Idiom to take a step forward in her next start. Certainly, she has proven that she's still a force in the division going from two to three, but may have been a little short for her first outing. As you said, I think there are some clear standouts, however, around her in that California division. Uh, but in Florida, really kind of, you know, an even sort of bunch, maybe total shape can turn in another nice performance. Maybe some of these other fillies are waiting to step up, especially in their seasonal debuts. Uh, you know, we've got the Devona Dale coming up there, the Gulfstream Park Oaks, still plenty of chances for fillies to take a step forward. And of course, we'll be back here next week on the Oaks Countdown with a new episode next Wednesday to recap the Devona Dale, to look ahead to the other action coming up in other jurisdictions right here on DRF TV.